What's up guys? On my way to physical therapy for my left wrist and uh, I had a little bit of time so I kind of figured I would give my final thoughts on you know the Levon Devon match and kind of just touch on East versus West as a whole. Um, my mindset's kind of shifted a little bit since the last video I made and uh, I'll tell you why. I think that it's obviously a close match but man I think Devin's different right now I think he's different than the last time that they faced I think Devin really believes that he can beat Levon this time I, I, I don't think last time I honestly don't feel like he he was all in on the fact that he thought he could beat him I knew that he would He'd break himself in order to win uh, or break himself, you know, even if he lost. I knew he was going to go all in, but I really don't think his mindset going into it was, I'm going to beat you. I think the first round of that, of their first match, I think something shifted in his brain. I think he truly believed if that thing would have kept going, I think he thought he was going to win. Obviously, we don't know because he got broken. Levon fucking tore his arm right off. It could happen again. I mean, Devin's still the same guy, right? Or is he? In the last, what, two years since they've faced, Levon's been partially active. He had that match with Ermes that exposed some weak points. It also exposed his lungs. And then Devin is healed up. He's became almost kind of like a science experiment it's got the most stem cells in him than any other human I think ever on this planet. Got the exosomes, got the dual sympathetic reset. His mindset's different. I honestly feel like after that match, he probably thought he could beat him, but I don't think he ever thought maybe his body was gonna be prepared to do so. These stem cells have changed his joints. I mean, he's almost got like a, like a 35 year old Devin elbow in hand but a, a 50 year old Devin mindset he's a killer what do we know about since they've they faced we know that Levon was injured he was out for a long time wrist flexion issues hmm. wrist flexion we know that Levon had a match with Ermes and uh, that was his closest match to date other than that, Levon's been pretty inactive. He's been on the couch. He's been off cycle. He's been at the top. When you're at the top, you're not as hungry. Devin, however, brutal loss to Levon. Stem cells, arm wrestling every day, rehabbing, calcifying. Has a match with every Eastern European possible to prove that he can beat them. Takes a loss to uh, Gennady. Uh, but honestly, I think if Devin's theatrics wouldn't have been a, a thing in that first couple rounds, I think he probably should have beat Gennady. But that was still early on in his in his journey. Beats Prudnik. Beats Georgie. Uh, beats Hermes. Beats Hermes more convincingly than Levon beat Hermes. You could argue Styles make matches, but he beat Hermes bad. Devin's gotten stronger on almost every lift that he does. Obviously, there's not a direct cor uh, correlation or carryover to uh, to arm wrestling itself, but I mean, these lifts are real important markers. If his hand doesn't open that way with 20% more, his hand's gonna stay more solid. His rise has gotten better. Uh, his inside game's gotten better. I mean, this dude's not even the same arm wrestler as last time they faced, and it was kind of close the first round. Arguably, Levon's gotten potentially worse. Really, really makes you think, is he going to be able to do it? I think if, if Devin doesn't get injured again, I say Devin's the favorite. Levon's so powerful that he might just be able to injure Devin, and then it might be over. But I think if Devin... If Devin just gets straight pinned, doesn't get broken, I think Devin's the favorite. I think Levon has always got the possibility of just being too much. I don't know. I think Devin's gotten better and Levon's gotten worse. 
So my prediction, Devin's going to win. And I think it's going to be, uh, if it's best of five, I think it's going to be 4-1. I think Devin's going to get a stop in the first round. And I think it's going to be worth more to him to give it up and to have the knowledge and the positioning. I think round two, I think it's going to be a grinder. Devin's probably going to be real opened up, and I think he's going to get the stop. I think LeVon's going to fucking run out of breath. If he gets into a war with Devin, it's over. It's over. We are so blessed to have these East vs. West matches, unifying all the best people and uh, paying for their travel, paying them what they deserve. I mean, we're in a great spot with the sport. Uh, super blessed. Engen's kind of a goofball, but we are blessed to have him, and we're blessed to be able to watch these matches and have them every few months. So thanks, Engen. Thanks, Core Sports. Thanks to all the athletes. You guys, I mean, you guys really make it awesome to be an arm wrestling fan. So anyway, that's my thoughts. And uh, yeah, let's keep killing it, guys. Stay strong.